Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today will be playing with the border radius property and uh, generating few shapes, pure CSS shapes uh, for example a circle most of you may actually know how to create a circle, a semicircle and a, a quarter circle so let's see uh, how easily we can do it uh, with the border radius property so let's start <coughs> I've already saved the document with the .html extension and I'm using uh, Emmet, a code assist plugin to code out real quick like this, pressing tab to expand the code inside the body of the document let me insert a division with an ID of BR border radius let me define the rule in the opening and the closing body tags, pressing tab to expand the code through code assist uh, package Emmet. If you don't have Emmet uh, enabled editor, you can code out the re, uh, the uh, the normal way, the slow way. All right. Let's define my uh, ID BR. <coughs> Let's start off with a width of 300 px plus a height of uh, 300 px tab. All right. Let's say background color of black which is fine at this point if I were to save the document and bring the browser up let's see how things look like okay a perfect uh, 300 by 300 square cool let's add to the code so border radius property and let's set it to 100% that's the easiest part people if you want to convert the square to a circle I'm sure most of you actually know the trick all you need to do is just apply 100% uh, of border radius and you get a circle but <coughs> I don't want that let's say I would want uh, a semicircle and a quarter circle how do you do that the best way to write the code is border radius It's actually going to be a uh, border top left radius. Okay, let's copy this bit and paste three more times like this. Right now, top left then becomes top right. bottom right going in the clockwise direction and bottom left right so we are covering all four corners going in the clockwise direction now let's say I would want to create a a, a, a quarter circle first so it's very easy let's say we are keeping the width at 300 px the height at 300 px and then the top left corner let's say it's very easy to do that. Let's keep that at 100%. Rest everything, all the other corners, we keep going to keep at a zero. Right. Let's save the document up, bring the browser up, and let's refresh to see the change. That's a perfect um, quarter. Right. So that was uh, uh, quite easily done, you know, just uh, whichever corner you would want to be circular that you need to uh, you know have you, you should just apply a hundred percent border radius value to that that's everything else we're gonna keep at a hundred now to create a semicircle it's important that you first make sure that the width is double the size of the height okay so let's say a uh, six, 600 px for the width and for the height uh, 300 px as I said it should be half of the width and all you need to do is let's say 50% 100% now that's the trick I'll explain it in a minute 50% and 100% I'll tell you what the, this actually means what this means is the horizontal radii should be out of 50% 50% of the width uh, is going to be 600 by 2 that's 300 and um, a hundred percent out here this stands for the vertical radii 
you know this is the the horizontal radii the vertical radii you can have different values if you keep one single value means you would want both of them to be the same a single value 50 percent means 50 percent uh, horizontal and vertical radii right so this means that we wanna we, we're gonna keep the vertical and the horizontal radii the horizontal and the vertical radii different in this case 50% uh, of uh, 600 is uh, 300 100% of height 300 is 300 so actually uh, it's 300 px 300 px right so let's see the uh, result now let's save the document up and let's refresh to see a semicircle in action very cool even though I, I would you know I might change the values let's say to 800 out here and a 400 out here and let's save the document up and let's refresh uh, the semicircle is only only gonna grow in size but still gonna be a perfect semicircle right but uh, the reason why I did not keep the width and the height same because if I do so look at the resulting shape people so just uh, uh, you know few things to keep in mind while creating a semicircle so people I hope you found this uh, you know this uh, simple trick simple right and uh, found this informative too I hope you will uh, subscribe if you already haven't. You'll thumb the video up, um, you'll comment, and you'll subscribe. You have a good day. Bye bye. Peace.